welcome 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 once more you are welcome to this live show you are welcome to this edition of my live show today i would like us to share a few things i'm sorry for being a, a little late about two minutes late but uh, fellow comrades uh, you are welcome on board and welcome to this live show to this edition of my live show today there is a lot of things there are a lot of things that we shall be talking there are a lot of things out there at stake that needs to be clarified there are a lot of things that we need to dwell on because if we allow them go unexplained a handful of people will think that things are moving in our own disfavor but that is a lie that is a big lie, my brothers and sisters. Uh, once more, you are welcome. This is your one man advocate for the justice, for justice for the people of Southern Cameroon, today known as the Federal Republic of Ambazonia. We have a lot today. Please share, 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 share. Share and invite share and invite friends and groups share to many platforms because this information that i'm going to share with us today is going to be a very vital one so my brothers and sisters let's populate the platform and then we take up our activities of today yeah i can see stateless cet abuja you are welcome I thank you. You are always there. Share and invite friends. I always have taken note that many people always watch my shows. After I must have left the platform, because I begin to see thousands of people who come, who, who, who comes after and watch it. But the main important information here is that no matter what time you watch it, the information is always passed through and pass across to you people my brothers and sisters once more without wasting time we shall have a bit of a bit of things just not that much but we shall have three great topics that we'll be talking on today we shall be talking on the the, the la republic of cameroon using our suspected detainees who are held in the condeng maximum maximum prison to locate the camps and hideouts or abots of our violent restoration fighters. We shall be talking on the war draft of the uh, war draft for Kupe Manungubak County, a county where I hail from, come this Sunday, 24th May. And we shall also be talking about the fake fighters who claims to have dropped their weapons accompanied by some unscrupulous and irrelevant elites of that region the region of uh, mwambong that which happens to be under the bangem subdivision just is a, a stone throw from bangem town we have seen it and i shall be bringing to you the names of the detainees of the 11 detainees that have been whipped out from the Kondege Maximum Prison by security forces who happens to be on a mission to Southern Cameroon. My brothers and sisters, it's on this note that I, I bring forward to you and I bring on board to you this live show, this special edition of live show. Today, an information got to me a few days behind, two days or one and a half days that La the Republic of Cameroon, the colonial government of the La Republic of Cameroon is using a tactic telling our prisoners who in the first place are being held captive, captives against their will, that he is willing to free them or release them if they do cooperate with the authorities of this colonial regime 
to locate the camps and the abbots of our restoration fighters to give them all the all the leads how they can get to the restoration fighters to destroy them. And by so doing, anyone who is held captive always want to be free. Two days ago, they have ca carried out a proper search in Kondege Maximum prison and they sorted out 11 names. These names are as follows. The names, we start with uh, Efwed Armstrong, alias General Armstrong, Efang Kalemba, Jambore Gilio, Fotabong Simplis, Yongo Collins, Ngawe Kenneth, Kumla Jeffla, Ambese Divine, Amba Luis, Makolo Matias, and Anga Platini. Those, these are the 11, 11 names and the people that have been taken out by the security forces from the Kondenge Maximum Prison and they are on their way for a mission to, to the respective, to the various uh, uh, county that I'm going to name to you. Their main mission is to target Libyalem County, the Fako County, and the Meme County. This will be done with the assistance of these names that I've named, that I've read out to you. Some of them happen to be ex-fighters, as we can put. Some of them are not fighters at all, but they have stipulated before the authority that they know the hiders and the houses of some of our violent, violent restoration forces. And so by so doing, they will be leading this colonial military in those to those hideouts or to their houses to make sure that they are trapped down. But I want to bring to your attention that why doing this, our population, our civilian population is not safe. Our IDPs hiding in bushes and then forests are not safe because as we know this unprofessional military from La Republic, they will do everything possible to kill people, kill innocent civilians in the name of one Cameroon, or tagging them as restorationists, or as well tagging them as separatists, or as well tagging, the, tagging them as amber fighters or restoration fighters. My brothers and sisters, this information goes directly to our fighters because we know some fighters have connections. They have been on phone with some of these people that they are bringing to your various regions to come and trace you. Cut any contact with them as from this moment. No phone call should be received from any of those guys, the names that I've mentioned. If, if possible, you can change your SIM cards. You take out your SIM card and break them, replace them with new SIM cards, because we know with uh, today's modern technology, a phone can even be traced without receiving a call. So you can be, you can, I can assure you that this is going to happen. Change your numbers. Our IDPs, wherever you are hiding, stay strong and stay safe. Our population still living within the shattered towns. No, they will be coming to some houses that have been pinpointed by these set names of detainees that they, have, that they are coming along with because they have promised for them to be released. So you have to also stay alert. Our restoration forces, beef up, change location, and stay very, very alert. Stay alert. Do not sleep. One eye open. Do not sleep. You are fighting for justice and you are doing a genuine, you are fighting a genuine cause. No matter the price that most of you people pay or most of us pay, you are fighting a genuine cause. You see a handful of people have been trying this for several times, for several weeks, to try to demoralize our fighters. A handful of sellouts are there. 
bragging on the social medias, drinking and rolling in cheap cars, showing you that if you drop your weapons and come out, this is the type of life you will be living. Why don't you ask yourself questions? That for those who are not fighters, those who are not fighting, those who are sitting in their houses in town, are they been, have they been given such opportunity to live such life, lifestyle that people like Nambere have been living? And the answer is automatically no. So don't be fooled. If you drop your weapon, you are considered a black leg on our own side and you are considered as an enemy to the state of La Republic du Cameroon, you will be killed. Gradually, gradually, you will be killed. So my brothers and sisters, I call upon the restoration forces of this, the above mentioned regions or the counties that I've mentioned, that is the Fako County, the Libya Lem County, and the Meme County, to stay alert. And not just to them, because we know how tricky this colonial military of La Republic of Cameroon can mm -hmm. act. They can as well give the impression that they are coming for those three counties and instead take, some, take another, another location where we are unprepared. So in the 13 counties, we have to be well prepared and well armed to defend our homeland and to defend ourselves. Self-defense is a universal right. Defend your counties. Defend your LGS. My brothers and sisters, I think that was the message. Uh, this is the message I had as concerning that situation of the Republic of Cameroon trying to use detainees to go locate our violent restoration forces. So this is a breaking news to us. This is an intelligent that we got a few days behind. So this should be taken with utmost importance so as to avoid a lot of catastrophe and human loss. And secondly, on the topic today, I will be talking about Kupe Mwanunguba County. Kupe Mwanunguba County. Under Kupe Mwanunguba County, we have three LGAs. The Bangem Local Government, the Tombe Local Government, and the Nguti Local Government. The Bangem Local Government happened, local government area happened to be the headquarters of Kupe Mwanunguba County on paper. But practically, it is not the headquarters of Kupe Mwanunguba County because the headquarters of Kupe Mwanunguba County has, is now, I think it has been moved to Melo because nothing is functioning in Bangem Town. Short kilometers of roads are not maintained. You cannot leave, leave it Melong to Bangem. You can spend about seven to eight hours on a motorbike. Everything has been moved to Melong. Those colonial administrators, apart from the colonial, the chief colonial executive officer in the in the, in, the cap, in the capacity of the senior divisional officer and the sub-divisional officer and the company commander and a few of other militaries are those who are residing in that place called Bangem. The rest are out from the live in Kongsamba, Melo, Lum, Bafusam, Yaounde, Duala, just to name a few. Now Kupe Mwanunguba, County, 24th of May, Sunday 24th of May, is our own turn. And we have to show the people of Ambazonia that we are part and parcel of them by supporting this initiative that, is, that has been brought up by uh, His Excellency Dr. Samuel Sako Ekome of the People's IG, the war draft that has been sending waves within the ranks of La Republic du Cameroon. That hasn't given them any sleeping minutes. 
they don't sleep because of this war draft. More than 200 million francs CFA has been raised to see that our restoration forces are up to the tax to fight and free homeland to make sure that we get to Goya faster than we expected. And now it is our turn. I've seen other counties, other LGS, back this initiative by making huge contributions to see that they are not let, they are not left behind. Kupe I am calling on you. I'm calling on all of us because myself inclusive, I happen to be a son of soil of Kupe Mwanunguba division. I shall be on board on that day. That is on Sunday the 25th of May 2020 to accompany our people to see that we I will realize something reasonable to foster this war that, is being, that has been imposed on us. My brothers and sisters, even a widow's might can do. And I know the people of Kupe Mwanunguba County, where I hail from, will not want to be the last on the list during this contribution. So let's come out massively for this war draft and make our own contributions to be enormous as well. Let's invite groups, friends, and sympathizers of our struggle to come support us for this initiative because it's an initiative that is going to pay out and is already paying out. I think you must have witnessed our two colonial imposed municipal authorities have been sent to their early grave because they are not welcome, they are no longer welcome. We restore our independence and we have total control of our land. All that is being done now is just a child's play. Cameroon shall never be the same. There shall never be Cameroon that involves Southern Cameroon. That map must be redrawn properly. My brothers and sisters, LGA, we have three LGAs. We call them LGAs because those are, are Anglo-Saxon names. We don't use divisions. Those are colonial appellations imposed us impose on us or on our people by the colonial by, by the colonial occupa occupational authorities so we don't use division mr weisland i thank you so much let them know properly we are using lga local government authority we don't we don't use divisions those are frank uh, frank francophone names that they use in their own territory my brothers and sisters, I believe that if Bangam LGA, Tombe LGA, Nguti LGA come together massively, we are going to come out with a substantial amount on that day that will enable us to foster this war, to back this war, and to make sure that our place is also being recognized properly without any doubt that we, we are dragging our legs behind. So I call upon us, call your friends, sympathizers of, 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 of our own problem, to support us, just as, as many other countries have done during their war draft. So that is what I had for Kupe Mwaninguba, my people. And still in Kupe Mwaninguba, I take you people quite a bit away from the War, war draft now there are media there have been some people on the social media parading themselves over the weekend i think uh, over the weekend a group of boys in 17 in numbers alleged to have come from wambong or alleged to be fighters that have dropped arms I want to tell you clearly, those, were, those are not our fighters. They were positioned. I think that stage drama, everyone can see and know properly that the, those people are just people around the place that were taken out by some elite 
who are seeking for political recognition within the ranks of the colonial regime of Yaoundé, people who have been working against our revolution, people who have been working against this struggle for the past four years, because they think that if they go to one colonial school known as a NAM, or from one colonial school as well called as Bambili, because there you still have them, it's been controlled from Yaoundé, they think they can come to the town before our poor people and speak rubbish. They themselves don't live in Bangem, they don't live in Tombe, and they don't live in Guti. They are taking refuge in the other side of the, of, of, of the divide. They live in the colonial capitals of, of La Republique du Cameroon. I saw people whom I even know personally, my classmates, gathering a group of boys, telling them what to say, putting down then guns. We no longer use then guns. Don't you see us defending our territory with AKs and revolvers? Don't you see RPGs? Gathering them to make those, to stage that movie so that if it goes to the radio, to, 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 to the TV broadcast and broadcast that, uh, that information, they would have seen that as they working properly for the government and they will be recompensated with political positions that they always want so that they can be living on embezzlement. My brothers and sisters, and in that video, to tell you that those people talking are not the people that think like us, are one of those people that, are, that have been brainwashed and properly uh, 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 sensitized on what to say. I heard a youth talking of portable water, that he will drop his weapon and they will have good roads, portable waters and other things and they can have good roads. It's not today that Bangal was made a division that we call today a county. And let me remind him or let me remind any one of them who spoke about portable water, thanking the government for that, every portable water in, within the Bangal sub division or the Bangem County, that is the, ba the Bangem local government authority, was being brought there by the elites of Bangem. I myself, while in GBHS Bangem, I worked on the pipe, burn water, that we, we, we had to take water from a Busco Hill, and we took it right to, the GB, uh, to, to GBHS Bangem, where I was schooling. It wasn't a government project. It was done in collaboration with some whites that came from England through the help of one of our elites who studied in in, 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 in United Kingdom. He did this and contacted those people and our problem was being looked into and we had our community water. That was not the initiative of government. Even the water that was being docked from the lake, Maninguba Lake, is a community water non no single franc came from the government. Everywhere where we have water, that it was being done by that uh, elite brother, uh, that elite who studied in the United Kingdom. His name is uh, Brother Christopher. Uh, many people know him, and you can go for verification. So let me don't see people like Ngole Evis, my classmate. I saw him in the video. Because he, he wants position. I saw another one. I don't want to be calling names. I don't call a lot of names. They are not important. Who happens to have benefited from one or one of those things, social activities that we have been running back there in Bangem, was also there and was speaking the same language. Let me re-emphasize. Let me emphasize. You can come here exactly if I'm saying a lie, if I'm speaking a lie, and debunk the lies. Every pipe bomb water, portable water from Lake Maninguba running along GBHS Bangem, Bangem Town, going everywhere, going to deep sea, was brought by our people themselves. It was not by the government, so you don't thank government. I want to ask you guys who, 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 who said, who were speaking on that video that you drop your arms because the government will give you good roads, that you will sell your cash crop. You have been doing farming for quite a long time i did it myself to transport a, 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 a just five bunches of plantain to to melon you have to use about seven hours that is you must understand that that is a way to assimilate us if 
come, open your head. You don't think they don't want to bring a tar road or a good road from Melon to Bangem so that we can do our marketing there and boost our economy that allow us to suffer to come and sell there and boost the economy when we go there and sell our plantains we don't even come back with the money we buy there and boost that uh, the, uh, the economic activities there and still come, uh, come back empty handed just the transport fare itself is a problem the, the colonial military along the line the police officers and gendarme the checkpoints that you pay uh, normally you don't come out with anything i myself i stayed in the palace the colonial government of yaoundé was unable for 20 years to build to construct a police station and a police station was given to them by my father there they had a house there opposite prestige i'm talking because i'm a son of soil and i know everything that i'm talking i have facts they lodged the police station there for quite a long time and they were not paying any, any rent. And what do you think you are fighting? Are you fighting to defend the interests of those unscrupulous elites, greedy elites that came and, uh, and were parading you with the social media for, the, for, the, for their personal interest, for their personal gain to go and show to Yaoundé that this is what we did. We went there, we met the chief, we spoke with those boys and they dropped their weapons and then they are giving positions, giving money and you still stay there in Bangem where you don't have roads, where you don't have good hospitals, where you don't have good schools. Even the school GBHS Bangem, we, we did a lot of job there. We, 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 the, the lab there, the science lab in GBHS Bangem was being equipped by us. Stay your people. We live in here at the diaspora. We saw it as a disgrace. And we decided to come out with an association known as Bangem Ex Student Association that is best in Europe and all over. And we raised funds. We equipped that lab, well equipped, not the government, not those elites that are struggling to come there to, 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 to work on their, on their brain. For, because I want to gain. We don't, I don't fight because I want to gain anything. I'm fighting simply because I know it is a just cause and I'm fighting for my unborn generation even if we don't have see the reward now that our children or our children children shall not come and suffer will never come and suffer this assimilation and marginalization again. Is This generation is a never again generation my brothers and sisters. I challenge those boys in that video. I even saw another one whom I hailed, Grand Manga, who also struggled to be, to must have sold plantain, and I saw how he suffered when I was a petrol vendor there at the Bangem Market Square. He couldn't transport his plantains from Bangem to Melong to go and market them. He suffered the same, and he's still suffering the same. And he sits on the same table because he, he's one of the authority working uh, at the council, telling you people that... Hey, you should abandon a just cause where he has suffered and he is still suffering because he is one of them. Let me even tell him there was no election in Bangem, no municipal election. All those things are fraud. You people parading yourself there as mayors and uh, councillors, uh, your, day, your days are counted. Everything I say as concerning Bangem, sub, uh, Bangem local government area. I have backings and I have proofs. If those people think I'm telling lies, they are my classmates, some of them are my schoolmates because they happen to go to Enam or to uh, uh, Bambili and they come and tell lies. They try to intimidate the population because I've had little positions in, uh, 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 to, to, to survive. We are working, we want a state that will work for the benefit of any, everybody, not for me alone, not for you alone, for everybody. That is why we are fighting. The cause is just. I, I'm still as well being uh, calling on the people of Kupe Mwenunguba that on the 24th of May 2020, that on Sunday, it's a Sunday, you will do your contributions to this world draft. You will do it anonymously. I know there are a host of people out there who don't want their names, face, to be seen you will do it anonymous as others have done it 
anonymously. They have done anonymous contributions to their own counties. You will do it. What I want you, what I, what I want us to know is that contributing for this war draft is not a choice. It's obligatory. We have to contribute. We have to contribute. Each and every one of us has to contribute. There are consequences that will come in future if you don't back this, uh, these initiatives. We are not threatening anybody. A thousand francs is enough. Five hundred francs is enough. You, think, you don't think that that money is little. So my brothers and sisters, let's never think that when there is a just cause like this, some of us should pull our legs behind. We don't have to pull, pull our legs behind and, and allow others to move ahead. We must dance to the tone of the, of the, of the show. People will be making noise. People are saying a lot of things that will change the whole revolution. We didn't change the whole revolution. What was our, dem, our demands were corporal. None of them were, uh, was, uh, uh, <laughs> none of the demands were, were placed on the table. Instead, they were trying to bring some flimsy excuses, trying to create other assimilatory policies to completely assimilate us. So, for those fighters in Mwambong, I know Mwambong has a town, as a village that has been stubborn because it's the seat of the CPDN, and they have a lot of crooks and ministers coming along that re, that region, uh, that region, Ninongweba, and so on. Where you have people like Ngole, Philip Ngole, ministers, directors, and so on. This is not a ministerial uh, fight. This is not a fight for appointments, or this is not a fight for positions. This is a fight. This is a revolution for everyone. Starting from down to up. It's a fight for everyone, my brothers and sisters. And it's on this note that all of us must back this fight. If you thought things were returning to normal why are people suffering in Konsamba, suffering in melon languishing in baffles and bafang some in sancho being there crossing over just to melon don't you see the difference how you are suffering how we are suffering you start seeing tar roads you start seeing electricity everywhere even in villages and you can't use your head do you think we are fighting for nothing we don't fight because we want to fight we fight because we have to fight we have been asking these things peacefully many times. I remember, I have stayed in the palace. Whenever a minister will come there, the Bangan people and chiefs will put a memo. Oh, Mr. Minister, it's a road, road that is our problem. What would they say? Even the ministers that were being appointed from your region, Professor Ngole Evis, Philip Gwesa, all the rest, what do they usually say? They will say, yeah, we have heard your problem, we will take it to the head of state. Always oh, so hard, how long, how many years, and nothing has changed. But those people, instead, for their personal lives have evolved. They have mansions in Europe here, have it in America, have uncountable plot estates within southern Cameroon, and so on. Their lives are changing, and the population remains on the same spot. Everyday poverty, poverty upon poverty upon poverty. So do you think I'm fighting because I, 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 I'm a foolish man or because I'm a terrorist? I'm not a terrorist. And that is why the name, the application, terrorist, can never go, can never be uh, attacked with us. Because the world, the world takes time to respond, but finally they always respond. They will never call us terrorists. They know we have a genuine fight. They know we are speaking English. They know it's not everybody that is speaking English who happens to be a Southern Cameroon. They know there is Southern Cameroon in the archives of the United Nations. They know where the territorial boundaries of La Republic of Cameroon ends. They know the, de the, the demarcations and the delimitations between the Southern Cameroon and the Nigerian and the Nigerians. They know everything. Do you think they are fools? They know it. It takes time. They take time. But they have been speaking of recent. A lot of diplomacy is going on behind doors. So my brothers and sisters, we have to, in every means, we the people from Kupe Mwaningubas support this initiative, this war draft, to see that we don't emerge the last among the 13 counties. 
We will never be the tail. Let's be the head or the middle. We can never be the tail. Never. I call on us from America, Europe, and Cameroon, Africa, everywhere to contribute to this initiative and chip in something reasonable as this is the last phase of, the, of this revolution that is going to quicken us towards Boya. That is going to take us to Boya without any problem. Don't, don't listen to such audios that are being put out. Oh, Southern Cameroon, independence, whatever. We will have independence. We are not asking for independence. We just restore. We restored what was stolen to, uh, from us in 2017. And it is in the archives of the United Nations. We have it there. We are not creating another vote for an independent Southern Cameroon. We are fighting for what was stolen from us. <laughs> and it's on this note that I go to the last subject that I have today. There have been a, a presidential communique or whatsoever creating the autonomous port, seaport in Limbe. <laughs> that is just another, another route of assimilation, of marginalization. What happened with the Tiko Waf? We had all those things before. Why were they destroyed before? And we need to fight and then we have them again. Why would they be creating a seaport in Kribi where they have no need for it if we were one and indivisible? And we have the natural deep sea, one of the deepest sea in Africa, in Limbe, where a seaport could be constructed and that would boost the economic activities of that region. And it is never it has never been constructed now given saying that they give they don't give us a seaport we construct it giving us a seaport they don't need to give if they construct is simple they will start director general of the limbe autonomous seaport uh atanga voda there her sister all and you will stay be there and be a boy boy working for them and that is the continuous marginalization and assimilation of the people of Southern Cameroon into the French system. And before you realize, everything is done. You will start speaking French. Just take an example from Sonara. Have you ever seen an Anglophone being leading that place? No. Even the workers there. Even to be a cleaner is a problem. Francophones. It's the same thing that will happen with the Limbe Autonomous Seaport. So don't be clapping. Instead, fund this resistance movement, fund this war, and liberate yourself and free yourself from the shackles of colonialism imposed on us by the people of uh, uh, the, the Republic of Cameroon, rather than trying to beg from crumbs. We don't beg. God decided that we will be well-to-do people. He gave us good soils, gave us every... We didn't ask for those things. They could take those things out and go. We stay and remain a free people. We are very hardworking. We, have one, we were one of the first country in, in West Africa that practiced democracy during the 1959 election. There was free democratic election and there was free transfer of power without bloodshed and somebody will tell us that we can't handle ourselves we can't handle our issues we have handled them before we have had a prime minister before we have had a house of chief we have had everything that and things were moving properly things were moving properly and now i will end here by giving a, just a brief a brief a brief summary or a brief talk on land, land issues. To those francophones that are grabbing land in southern Cameroon, let them know those lands are not theirs. Because that is a simple policy of assimilating us by selling out lands, huge chunks of lands, to rich Bamlike owners who in turn, resell them to other francophones to 
make sure that more francophones are on our land than us to change our system. So buying a land there doesn't make you to live there. Those who have been living there peacefully, be it francophones from the Bamlike side or the Nigerian side, when we station in Boya, you will still live there in peace. But those who are acquiring land, grabbing land, such as the, uh, the, the colonial administrator of Southwest, Southwest Zone, Okala Bela, who I heard he has sold land, massive land. He has no right on those lands. My brothers and sisters, that is the, the little discussion I had for us today, for us to share, so that we can know the state of our revolution and we can know what is at stake. And I still emphasize, let our restoration forces in FACO, Meme and Libyalem stay on high alert and let them stop receiving phone calls from those names that I've mentioned, that have been released from Yaoundé to come and locate their abots and their camps. My restoration forces stay alert and relocate properly for us to avoid human loss. It's on this note that I call this a day and hoping that we meet subsequent uh, time and share and share to those who could not watch this. I thank you and good day once more. Stay home and respect the instructions as we have this health challenge that is plaguing the whole globe these days. Respect it properly. Respect it properly. And I still emphasize, let our people know, don't sell lands to francophones. Let our people don't sell lands to francophones because we are struggling to defranconize our region. So you can't be selling the lands to bring them there. Let them don't sell lands to francophones. Okay, bye-bye.